Okay, gang, uh, this lesson is the second part of the logarithmic uh, functions, log functions part two, so uh, module 15.1. So uh, there's our same common, or kind of common core essential question. Sorry, uh, I do uh, uh, grade school and they like common core uh, thrown in there anyway. Uh, so we're going to uh, talk about the inverse value of the exponential function in, in this, which is a log function. I'll show you. So let's go ahead and graph this uh, exponential function. It's ex exponential because x is in the exponent. We did this all in the last module, in module 13. Remember, we, we're skipping 14. Okay, so we're going to use all of these values right here to plug in right here. Okay, so let's go 2 to the negative 2. Well, 2 to the negative 2 is 1 over 2 to the positive 2, which is 1 fourth. Okay, so to the left, 2 up a fourth. Okay, and then 2 to the negative 1 is 1 over 2 to the positive 1, which is, uh, well, something disappeared there. Oh, I remember all that. Okay, um, sorry, I gave you all the answers there. That's cool, though. Uh, they're coming up. Anyways, uh, you're going to get one half, so we're going to go to the left um, one and then up a half right there, okay? All right, and then let's put in zero. Anything to the zero equals one, so two to the zero is one, okay? Two to the one is two, two to the two is four, and then two to the third is two times two times two, or eight, okay? So let's plug those in, and we'll graph that exponential function, okay? Remember doing that? Okay, so uh, the inverse of an exponential function is a log function. So the inverse of the y equals 2 to the x, remember inverse is, is written, this says f inverse of x. Okay, it looks like to the negative 1 power, but it's f inverse of x is just log base 2 of this x right here, okay? So if we graphed that, you guys, um, uh, let's go ahead and graph that using the, the graph right there. Remember, they're inverses. Do you guys remember about inverses? Remember how we switched the x's and the y's? Okay, so if we just um, uh, switch those, interchange them, so, so this becomes uh, y, this becomes x, that's what all these are. They're just switched. So here we're going to go to the right uh, uh, a quarter down two to the right uh, a half down one, uh, over one up zero, over two up one, over four up two, over eight up three, so over eight up three, okay? And so there they all are, and look, they make a mirror image of this line y equals x. Can you see the blue graph and the red graph being mirror images of each other? Because they switched the x's and the y's, okay? So the inverse of f of x equals 2 to the x is just log base 2 of x, okay? All right, so uh, if a log function does not have a base, it's understood to be base 10. So for example, log base 10 of 500, we can just write it as log of 500, okay? And then similarly, if the base is e, then it's called the natural log, and so we use ln, and I say, you know, it's a log natural, I guess. They should have done nl for natural log, but a lot of a lot of calculators actually have this in their calculator, you guys. They actually have ln, okay, ln uh, or or um, uh, ln, and it's right next to your log button, okay. So look for that. So it might be LN or LN. So look for that on your on your calculator right there, okay? So for example, you guys, um, uh, so, uh, the log base E of 500 is, um, uh, in our calculator, the natural log of 500. Okay, that just means it's base E, okay? So uh, our calculators are programmed for base 10 and base E. So if you punch in your calculator, log of 500, you'll get about 2.669. And if you punch in um, uh, the natural log of 500, you get about uh, 6.215. Well, what does that mean? Well, that just means, remember there, this is base 10, so this base to this power equals this. Okay, so 10 to this power will be almost 500. And then e to this power will be almost 500 right there. Okay, so that's all that means right there. And if you punch those in your calculator, you'd find that that was true, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, okay, so let's evaluate each log right here. All right, so these x's um, uh, weren't supposed to be here. Let me fix that here. Uh, so when I start teaching this class right here, let's pretend like those aren't there, okay? So if those aren't there, 
uh, let's evaluate each log, okay? So in our last let them, we, lesson, we let them be equal to y, and then so um, uh, I, you can make them equal to x, equal to whatever, it doesn't matter. So uh, let me just insert a page, and then this will be ready for when I teach the class on Monday. Today is Sunday. So anyway, so let's go ahead and let those guys be x, okay? So here we're going to go 2 to the x equals 16. Over here it's going to be... 27 to the x equals uh, equals this 3 right there, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and do this. So um, uh, let's get 16 as 2 to a power. 16 is is uh, 2 to the 4th, okay? So 2 to what power equals 16? 2 to the 4th equals 16, okay? Over here, 27 to the x equals 3. Let's write 27 as a power of 3. 27 is 3 to the 3rd. So here we have 3 to the third to the x, okay? That's what that says right there, okay? And then uh, remember, powers raised to powers, we multiply these. So 3 times x will be 3x. So we have 3 to the 3x equals 1. So that means that the powers equal to each other. If 3 to a power equals 3 to a different power, then this power equals this power. So here we're going to divide both sides by 3, and we get 1 third. Okay, here we have to use our calculator. So punch in uh, log 12. Some calculators you got to do 12 and then hit log. Okay, either log 12 or 12 log. Over here, same thing, natural log of 0.75 or 0.75 natural log, depending on your calculator. You should get about those values right there. All right, let's try a couple of application problems. Okay, so the acidity level or, or pH level of liquid is given by this formula right here. Okay, pH um, uh, equals the log of 1 over H to the positive power, I guess, okay, where, where H uh, plus is the concentration in moles per liter of hydrogen ions in liquid, okay? They're just trying to be confusing with all this sophistication, don't worry. It's pretty easy, we're just doing our log stuff. So in a typical chlorinated swimming pool, the concentration of hydrogen uh, ions range from 1.58 to the negative 8 moles per liter. Okay, that's what's going to go right down here because this H plus is our moles per liter um, uh, to the 6.31 uh, to the uh, times 10 to the negative 8 moles per liter. Okay, have you done scientific notation before? If you haven't, that's no big deal. Scientific notation, when it's a negative exponent, that just says move this decimal eight places this way. One, two, three, uh, just eight places. And then you plug in a bunch of zeros for the missing spots right there, okay? So what's the range of pH level? Okay, so substitute in those values right there, okay? And then uh, let's go ahead and put those decimals in our calculators right here. So all I did was move the decimal over one, two, this is what I was trained, just make little loops, eight loops right here, and there's seven spaces, because the first space is right there. So here's seven zero six three one, and then here's uh, seven zeros one five eight. Don't forget the decimal right there. So then we do uh, one divided by these decimals, one divided by these decimals. Now if you have a graphing calculator, it will let you actually put in 6.31 times 10 to the 8th, but <clears throat> most scientific calculators don't let us do that. Anyway, so when you uh, do 1 divided by those um, small decimals, they're very large numbers. So it's about, you know, f you know, and there's some change on here, some decimals on here, okay? So this just says a uh, log of 15,847,861. I think your textbook said about 15 million. Well, I just agreed it just a little bit. And, uh, similarly, they said about 63 million, so it doesn't matter, you guys. So let's go ahead and hit our log button, our log features with these right here. So when we do that, we get about 7.2 and about 10.8. Now remember, that just means 10 to this power is about this number, and 10 to this power is about this number. Okay, well, let's answer the question here. So the pH of the swimming pool will range from about 7.2 to 7.8, okay? All right, one more. So I, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. So blah, 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 blah. Is <laughs> one of the bacteria used to turn milk into yogurt. The, the population P of a colony of 3,500 bacteria at time T, T is in minutes, can be modeled by this function right here. Okay, so... <clears throat> 
remember um, uh, the exponential functions can be the inverses of logarithmic functions. So, how does it? How long does it take the population to reach um, uh, one million seven hundred ninety-two thousand? So, how long will it take this? Okay. So, what I'm going to do, you guys, is solve for t, and then when I solve for t, I'll go ahead and substitute that in. So, let's go ahead and first uh, divide both sides by thirty-five hundred. Okay. You see what I did? I did divide it by 3,500, divided by 3,500. P of T is just P right there. Okay, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, so we're going to rewrite it in log form. Okay, so log of base 2 of this equals this exponent right here. Okay, so that's how we bring that log function down right there. All right, and then... Um, uh, so what we're going to do now is multiply both sides by 73, and then we can go ahead and answer the question right here. So how long does it take for the population to be this? So here's time t in minutes. So we'll go ahead and plug in 1,792,000 right here and divide it by 3,500. You're going to find a nice convenient number with base 2 right here, by the way. So we get that. Now, otherwise, we've got to do another function that I haven't shown you yet. Uh, I think it's in the next lesson. Who knows? Anyway, so we get 512, and 512 is actually 2 to the ninth. So log base 2 of 512 equals 9. So this value right here equals 9 because 2 to the ninth equals 512. So we're left with 73 times 9. Well, 73 times 9 is 657 minutes which is about 11 hours. Okay, isn't that a groovy one? Okay, if you are in my class, uh, I'm going to have you guys do those assignments. Take care.